Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Thomas. So in today's video, I want to talk about this uh, woman that came out and said that she is the biological mother of uh, Mercy Johnson. If you don't know who Mercy Johnson is, um, she's a Nigerian uh, popular actress, okay? So um, I'll show you guys the picture of this woman uh, side by side with Mercy Johnson. And you have to agree with me that the resemblance is a lot. We have to, we, at least we have to agree on that one. And there's one important thing again, this woman said, this woman said that when she contacted Mercy Johnson, and Mercy Johnson told her that she is aware, as in Mercy Johnson is aware, that the parents that raised her are not her biological parents that they adopted her. Okay? But going by what this woman said, it means that Mercy Johnson is aware that she has a biological mother somewhere. Okay? Now, her story has asked to, because that was what I was interested in, I wanted to know, how did she lose contact with her child? So she said she's from Cameroon, the husband is from... I don't know, Kogi or one of those uh, uh, states, and that uh, her father was unwell and the father sent for her to come. She went to Cameroon to go care for her father and she was pregnant. So she looked after the, her father until eventually her father's life ended. After her father's burial, she was pregnant, she was due to have a baby, so she had her baby before she came back to Nigeria. And by that she came back to Nigeria, this is how she narrated it. And don't, don't forget that if we go by Mercy Justice's uh, age, you would know that... Uh, it's a long time ago. It's not like now where we have mobile phones. You can call somebody, you can WhatsApp somebody and stuff like that. So that time, communication was not that easy, like, you know, as it is now. Okay, so she said, um, by the time she came back, it happened to be that the husband went out. I don't know. Husband was going out and gave the children to somebody. I went out and uh, was in a car crash. There were two children, a boy and a girl. Okay, Mercy Johnson and, her, and, and a boy. That's what she's saying. And she said the uh, was in a crash and he died. And the woman they left the children with is how the children, the woman, I don't know, maybe the woman waited, waited. I don't understand that aspect. Maybe the woman waited, waited. No father, no mother. She handed over to, I don't know, orphanage. I don't know. So then maybe it's from the orphanage then that uh, Mercy Johnson was adopted. Let me actually say this. I made another video. I don't know when I'm going to post that video. Like if truly Mercy Johnson is from, shows you how stupid tribalism is. It shows you that a lot of people have always thought uh, Miss Johnson, I think they think she's Delta worry or that I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's where she was raised. Right. But it shows you how our tribalism is the one of the dumbest things in the world. It is because even when we talk about racism, racism, you have to see difference in color is white and black or black or whatever. That's for you can even try or is Asian or whatever. But when you're a fellow, you're black, black, African, African. You're African black and you're tribal you're tribalistic against your fellow. It is that one of the dumbest things ever. Now, if truly this woman is Mercy Johnson's mother, those that will say she's from my side, she's from my side. Now don't hear now. It means that she's not from your side. And nobody knew what is while. You see, okay, going back to this story, the woman's story sounds, that's what I'm going to say, it sounds very convincing. They look alike, and you know when somebody, they talk truth, and they know this load, like when somebody is being truthful, and the, you know the truth comes out like this. You understand? how She's very smooth in narrating her story. Let me tell you guys, we've seen stories that ended up being that is not true. But I'm just saying that, listening to her, and looking at the resemblance, I'm saying, ah, if it be true, now... She said uh, Mercy Johnson, when she tried to contact Mercy Johnson, she even tried to contact her through one of the a Nigerian uh, Nollywood actor or celebrity or whatever. And the person we was research, there was no other way she could have accessed uh, Mercy Johnson. And the person helped her to contact. She spoke with Mercy Johnson. They spoke on the phone. And Mercy Johnson invited her to come to Nigeria to come and do DNA to be sure. And then she said when she turned up, it was uh, Mercy Johnson's husband that came to meet her at the hospital. And the man said that she has to pay for her own DNA. And Mercy Johnson will not pay for her DNA. Okay, let me add something. This is my opinion. Uh, I personally feel like if truly Mercy Johnson knows, if truth is truth truly, Mercy Johnson knows she has a mother out there. I think when it comes to family, I, I just feel like it's a, it would be nice to deal with this woman directly. Even if the husband should get involved, it will be her and her husband and this woman. That is my opinion. That's how I feel. It will be nice because from the way she's explaining how she said Mercy Johnson's husband spoke to her, she felt kind of in, in, a, in a disrespectful, insulting way or whatever. You know, I don't want to believe that Mercy Johnson will speak to her mother, potential mother like that. And the, the, the connection, Mercy Johnson is the one that 
you know, has a mother out there. If this is true, don't forget. Let me know in case I forgot to say if you know she's the one that is. I, I just feel like anyway. Now they said the husband came and said they will not pay for her DNA. She, the man, she said she now said, ah, why didn't you tell me that before I started coming away from Cameroon and all of that? Now my thing is this: if truly Mercy Johnson knows that uh, she's adopted and she has a biological mother out there. I, my opinion is that she should make the effort to get to meet this woman. That's how I feel about it. You see, you know, make the effort to get to know her, get to see her. And, uh, you know, you, you, this life is nothing. No, <laughs> that's what keeps coming to my mind. This life is nothing. And to grow up without knowing your mother and finally find out, especially, especially the way this woman is explaining it. And that she lost her child somehow, somehow, and all of that. It wasn't like, oh, she, my mother abandoned me. She went and dumped me at an orphanage and all of that. Da, da, da. And then you're even like looking at the faults and faults and maybe the faults or things she, she may have done wrong become the reasons why you feel like, I don't want to know her. Or you'll be like, if she could do this, I don't want to know her. How can she abandon me? Or from the story she's narrating, is not like that. You know, I think, I think, it, if truly she, this is her mother, you know, at first thing first is get the DNA done. If she's not, I may be wrong, oh, but from what I understand, Mercy Johnson, I think she can afford to pay for DNA. From the way we see her on social media, she looks like she's loaded. Okay. I think she can afford it. Why not go ahead and do it and get it out of the way once and for all? You understand? And if she's your mother, you know, waiting day, dear, to just know that, that you get to meet your mother in this lifetime. Because hmm, the way people are dying these days, every day I pray, I don't know. Even sometimes, they, even when you talk about prayers, there are people that pray more than you that their lives have ended. There are some people that, when I say, so you will not say that it's not even by your prayer. If you will say it's the grace of God, are you not, if we, let me tell you, do you know what grace of God is? Unmerited favor. If we now say, ah, it's the, by the grace of God we are alive. Even that, I'm beginning to struggle with that. Because if the grace of God is unmerited favor, so why didn't the people that have died, why didn't they get this unmerited favor? Because it's unmerited. There's no reason why you got it. You, ah, life, anyway. There's nothing in it. And you find out that you have a mother or parent somewhere there. There's nothing there to get to know her. You may not want to know her, but your children may enjoy having a grandmother. And if you don't try, to, if she doesn't try to find out, there's always going to be what if. What if, if it's me, I will go all the way to just, just, to just know, just know. Do you know another important aspect of it is your children, if they get to know, it even helps them when it comes to a uh, medical history and stuff like that. When they say family history, it's important. And then tomorrow too, you never know who they will fall in love with tomorrow. May they not go marry their family member. You know what I mean? The people that um, were in orphanages, they never got to know. And there was a couple that time that went viral. That they were married with three children. They did the DNA test and they found out that they were sister, brother and sister. Things like that. It is not knowing that causes it. Even if not for yourself, for your children. If they know, ah, we have this family there in Cameroon. When they, they meet, fall in love tomorrow, and they meet some they ah, say, no, you're my relative. You're my, you're my relative. I don't know. I don't know how many of you have heard the story. I don't know what your opinions are about this. Do you think Miss Jensen should get to know her? Or do you think uh, she shouldn't get to know her? Do you, do you think this woman is lying? Do you think they are related? Or do you think, you know, do you even see the resemblance? Because I see, as always, whatever your opinions are about this, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.